is up beautiful people it's your girl Nicole Young and I am back with another video in today's video we're going to be talking about part one of getting started from scratch learning how to code and that part is finding your path into coding I cannot stress enough how important it is to figure out what direction you want to take your coding goals and your learning because literally the decisions you make here will determine where you end up at the end of all of this and that is super important and i didn't do this when i first got started and because of it i feel like i wasted a ton of time so i've talked about this in a couple of my other videos you can find them here and here you have to start off by doing some research on what opportunities are out there what types of jobs are out there for people who know how to code and then make sure that you are doing your research on what types of resources and languages and tools that you need in order to be successful on that path <laughs> and like i said guys i did not do this when i was first getting started I started in one area and jumped a couple of times before landing on the path that I feel like is right for me. It was so easy for me to get distracted by an article saying that the next big thing in coding or in tech is going to be this or that and me feeling like, oh, maybe I should switch to that because that might enable me to have more security in what I'm doing or be able to make more money and like, sis. Please don't do that to yourself. Find what you'll be good at and I promise you it won't matter about what the next big thing is. You'll be able to find security in what you're doing and you'll be happier, hopefully, to be able to do something that really works for you, okay? So I have a few questions that we're gonna go through together and use them as a guide of figuring out what your focus should be. Let's get started. All right, so the first question that you should ask yourself are, what are your hobbies and the things that you enjoy doing in your free time? Now, this might not seem related. I know when I was first getting started, big hobbies that I had were like arts and crafty type things and interior design, and that wouldn't have felt very aligned at the time but I promise you just write them down figure out what your hobbies are what things you spend the most time doing and put it aside and think about it later the second question that you should ask yourself is what skills do I already have that can be enhanced with coding the third question that you should ask yourself is what projects or aspects of coding initially drew me to having the desire to start in the first place. And the final question I have for you is, especially if you are looking to have a career shift in your learning process, what does your ideal career look like? Make sure you're specific, whether you wanna work in an office or not, is the pay the most important thing or is the whole lifestyle more important? Do you want more freedom? You guys get the idea. The reason why I think these are so important to ask yourself is because I think it's really easy to get caught up in your idea of what it's going to be like when you are, are on the other side and have figured out how to code and are making more money or whatever, but actually writing the answers to these down and figuring out for yourself what it is that you wanna do, it can help you get there a little faster. And the most important thing is just to be honest with yourself. It might seem like data science is the next big thing and that's what you need to go into, but if you hate working with numbers and statistics, then it's likely that that's not the best fit for you. And that's okay, because there's plenty of options out there. You just have to find the right one for you. For me, I've always been a very visual person. I loved to do illustrations and calligraphy and interior design and things like that. But 
it never occurred to me that that could be an indication of what I would be interested in in coding, which for me is front end design and development. There were also skills that I already had, such as digital marketing and social media management and um, like SEO and things like that, that would complement me as a freelance developer and designer. So that's why questions like that are so important to ask you because they can help you to find the sweet spot between what you already know, what you already like to do, and where coding can take you. The next video in this series is going to be about how to set great goals and a plan when you are teaching yourself how to code. Because I know that one thing that can be really difficult is seeing real progress over time. And I have some methods that you can follow that will help you do just that. So make sure you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss that next video. Until the next one, I'll see you guys. Oh, and before I forget, I made a small worksheet for you guys to work through these questions and to help you find career paths that might match up to what you are most interested in. So check it out down in the description below. You can download it from my website. See you guys.